Hi everyone. When it comes to country borders, one usually imagines something like barbed wire, checkpoints, customs offices, and tough border guards. Maybe also service dogs, so the overall image is pretty gloomy. But not all the border checkpoints are like that, and some countries don't even have them at all. Today we'll tell you about some unusual country borders, and believe us, there is a lot to see there. Let's get it on. Portugal and Spain Borders running along the riverbeds are nothing new. However, the border between Portugal and Spain is very special, because here, in the southwestern corner of Spain, one can use the only cross-border zipline in the world to literally fly through time and gain one hour because of the time zone change between both countries. <laughs> It's as if you get into a portal on your way. The Limite Thera zipline will take you from a Spanish San Lucar de Guadiana to the Portuguese El Coutim across the 150 meter wide Guadiana River. A 720 meter thrill ride into Portugal will take you less than a minute and the speed can reach up to 80 kilometers per hour. After that, the boat will bring you back to Spain. The Netherlands and Belgium. One of the most unusual borders runs between the Netherlands and Belgium. What's so special about it, you may ask? Well, the thing is, it runs right through a town named Bala. Yes, right through it, and it creates a lot of confusion. Just imagine, a simple walk to the drugstore, grocery store, or a visit to your neighbor can turn into a trip abroad, because this border doesn't follow any rivers or other natural obstacles, it doesn't even follow the street pattern, sometimes bisecting the houses and making sharp turns right in the middle of the streets or even inside the houses. For instance, the front doors of the same house can belong to different countries, and the citizens just got used to it. The borderline is marked with white crosses right in the streets. The geography is indeed perplexing here too. There are 22 Belgian exclaves with 7 Dutch exclaves within. They're all mixed, so the map is very confusing. This complicated zoning dates back to the Middle Ages, when parcels of land were divided between Dukes of Brabant and the Lords of Breda. The border developed as a result of various medieval treaties, agreements, land swaps and sales. Today, Bala has two city councils, two police stations, two cathedrals, and two hospitals, and just a couple of steps might be enough to make a trip abroad. India and Pakistan the Pakistan-India border is 2,912 meters long. The Wagar village is the only place where one can cross the border between those two countries, and there you can also see the so-called Wagar Atari border ceremony. Every day, the soldiers in colorful uniform elaborate fast-paced marches and high kicks in a show, which symbolizes partnership, friendship, and rivalry all at the same time. Hundreds of spectators cheer and chant, long live India or long live Pakistan. The ceremony is then followed by dancing, singing, and other festivities. Eventually, the flags are lowered and the border is closed, until the next day when the ceremony is repeated again. The US and Canada the Canada-United States border is 8,891 kilometers long, of which 2,475 kilometers is Canada's border with Alaska. People are allowed to cross the border only through the checkpoints. However, even despite the border patrols, one can in theory cross the border, sometimes accidentally. The weird thing about the American town Derby Line is its border with the Canadian Stansted. It runs through streets, sometimes even bisecting the buildings. The local people speak two languages too, American English and Canadian French. Austria, Hungary, and Slovakia Alright, so the borders between the two countries are pretty self-explanatory, but what about borders that divide three countries, like the one at the junction of three states, Austria, Hungary, and Slovakia? It looks like a… a picnic table? No, uh, seriously, this does look like a typical equilateral triangular table with identical benches around it. Each side of the table bears the coat of arms of the respective country. Turns out you can actually sit there to talk or enjoy lunch with people from different European states. 
and they say there are no miracles in this world. Well, it's actually not the best spot for a picnic. It is surrounded by stone sculptures, border pillars, and endless empty fields with literally nothing to see. On the other hand, if you cherish your solitude, you might as well enjoy this place. Italy and Switzerland the Signal Cupper, also known as the Punta Nefetti, is a 4,554 metre tall peak on the border between Italy and Switzerland. The highest hut in Western Europe, the Margarita Hut, lies here on the very summit. <laughs> The construction of the hut was directed by the Italian Alpine Club in 1889. The hut was pre-built in the valley, then divided into parts and brought to its final destination and assembled on site. It was opened on August 18, 1893, in the presence of Margherita of Savoy, Queen of Italy, to whom the hut is dedicated. It might be one of the most unusual houses located on the border. Norway, Sweden and Finland the northern countries also have something to offer. For example, Tririx Ruisa, the point where the international borders of Sweden, Norway, and Finland meet. Yes, this name is really hard to pronounce. I've probably got it wrong. It's the northernmost point of Sweden and the westernmost point of the continental part of Finland. Tririx Ruisa translate as the three country can. It doesn't look too exciting though, just a concrete block painted yellow. This monument was installed in 1926. Ten meters away from Lake Goldajervi. The place is hard to reach, and the scenery leaves a lot to be desired, too. One can also easily fall into the cold water from the rickety wooden bridges, but tourists still flock here. By the way, there's an open wilderness hut and a reservable hut located nearby, so the visitors can spend the night close to the yellow stone, enjoying the view in three states at once. Argentina, Paraguay, and Brazil Another tri point is located right in the heart of South America, where the Iguazu and Parana rivers converge. These rivers serve as borders for three countries Argentina, Paraguay, and Brazil. A stunning place, but it's not only about the border. There's also a unique town there called Cuidad del Este, which is the second largest city in Paraguay. On the opposite side of the Parana River, there are Brazilian and Argentinian cities with somewhat familiar names. Foth do Iguazu and Puerto Igarthu, divided by the Iguazu River. Each of the three cities has its own airport, currency, and administration, and together they form a single international metropolis. Just imagine, all it takes to cross borders is a bus. The place is frequented by tourists who come to admire the famous Iguazu Falls and simply to see the unique triple frontier. Poland and Ukraine this unique border can be seen only from a bird's eye view, or from a drone. A Polish artist, Jaroslav Koziar, used 23 kinds of plants to create a real artwork along the border between Poland and Ukraine, or rather, above it. Two giant fish symbolize the conventionality of borders between countries. Koziar wanted to prove that nature knows no boundaries, and culture defies the artificial borders created by humans. Two fish swimming in opposite directions directions were created during the Lublin Land Art Festival. The artwork is located on fields between Horodyszcze in Poland and Juarez in Lviv. The border between the two states in this place is annually decorated before the local festival of arts. Well, it looks good and serves a nice purpose. Gibraltar and Spain Gibraltar is a British overseas territory located at the southern tip of the Iberian Peninsula. Yes, right above the Strait of Gibraltar, which connects the Atlantic Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea. This place boasts a rich and exciting history, but let's focus on the border for now. It runs close to the airport. The only local airport here is located near the Rock of Gibraltar, 500 meters from the city center. It has only one 1,680 meter long runway. Until 2017, there was even a road across the runway, but later the traffic was diverted to a tunnel. Overall, this is a really interesting place. But the most peculiar thing about it is the border that runs very close to the runway. Well, not that close actually, but just a couple of meters doesn't count. Anyway, the border between Gibraltar and Spain earned a rightful place in our list for today. Psst.
Dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great. 